Oh, you're chilling like a villain. Um, I got the Jacket right here. Oh, you're chilling like a villain. I got two shirts. You got your shirt? Listen, crazy. Listen, you look at the No, I got two uh, shirt options. So I got this right here. It just depends on the fit. But you look at you might. It's just a shoulder. So I don't know. But it's a 2 x And then I got a white one just in case. And then we'll see how the jacket fit to see how we're going to wear it. Um, I also got. If you don't want to do this jacket, you have to keep it like with the oversized on. Let's try the green one first. Okay. You going direct your skin on the jacket like the color white box? You melt it on me? Snap on my titty? You guys eating snacks in here? Yes, we are. We had our own snack test. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't put these snacks in Okay. Oh, shit. Hi. <laughs> All right, hot take. What do you got? You ready for this? I've been ready. Here we go. What's the first off? Let me ask. What's the hottest take you've ever heard on camera? What's the hottest one you ever got? Because I'm definitely coming more mild than that for sure. I feel like it's definitely got to be. That's why I use it as the Christian Bale Batman one. Because like, who doesn't like that movie? And Somebody who's just a contrarian. Yeah, they're like, I just don't like it because it is so good. Like, yeah, exactly. That was the wackest one I've ever heard. That's pretty weak. Yeah, that's pretty weak. Uh, okay. Hot take. True Detective season one should get as much or more credit for its existential psycho babble as The Matrix. Shit. Have you seen both? I have seen The Matrix. I have not seen True Detective. True Detective season one should get as much credit for all the like little philosophy bullshit as The Matrix does. I feel Damn. like The Matrix is slightly overblown. I'm just like, I'm more of a movie head, but I've been getting around to shows. True Detective might be next then. Um, Salmon is the most overrated kind of cooked fish. Facts. I stand on that. That is a hot take. I stand on that. I feel like salmon can be dry, dumbass easy. And then people think because you got salmon, it's just gonna be lit. No. Salmon has to actually be cooked with, otherwise that shit's ass. I will 100% agree with that though. Salmon can be dried the fuck out and taste like toast. Yep. And we not finna do that. No. I agree. Yep. You guys got any hot takes you wanna share with the world? I like chicken. You like chicken? <laughs> that's not, that's a cold take. Most people like chicken. Everybody likes chicken. I love chicken. I discovered I like Branzino. What's that? Branzino's delicious. Branzino's so good. Fried or baked or grilled. Actually grilled or fried, right? Yeah. That's so good. But it's like the fish with the head still on there, so you really gotta like have a mature palate. You eat yeah. the whole head and everything? Like um cut her. <laughs> cut that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're saying. We're saying salmon is damn near entry level palate, and I'm not giving credit for salmon. Unless it's delicious. It has to be good. You can't just ass You can't just half ass it. Huh? Salmon is the bad bitch. The bad the bitch. Sea. That's a hot take. That's a good one. Salmon is the bad bitch of the sea. I like that. These are all some good hot takes. I like this. Uh, and then the last one is uh, Wedding Crashers is better than Step Brothers. Oh, oh. It is. 
Now, Wedding Crashers, I love Wedding Crashers. I think it's better than Step Brothers. Step I can Step quote almost with, both uh, movies. With, uh, Will Tyre, uh, Will Ferrell. Oh, Will Ferrell. And John C. Riley. Yeah. And what did they do? They're Step Brothers. They're step -brothers. <laughs> I know, they did like, nothing, and then they got jobs. And their parents, so they're bums, and then their parents hook up, and then they have to move into the same house as each other. Cool. And, and they're like 40. And then they become best friends, and then it's easy, and then they have to read. Oh, no, I agree. What's your name? Ari. Ari, I agree with Ari. With Wedding Crashers, that's better? For sure. Yeah. Wedding Crashers, for sure. I mean, because Bradley Cooper's got a great character, the Christopher Walken shit. <sighs> that's a tough one. That's a hot ass take, though. I'm stand on that. Damn, that's a very original hot take too. Wolf of Wall Street is the best movie ever. The new one, not the old one. There's an old one? Yes, yeah, the original one. Oh, I didn't even know that there was When's the original one made? I don't know, but I know the new one is the best one. Best movie in the world. The new one, the new one with Leo? Yeah, Leo. Oh, okay. I'll just there, show. make sure I got the time. There's right. not one before that, is no, there? No, it is. I know there's a, a book. I read the book. Shit was great. It's a movie too. I even think it's... Yeah, that's it. I need to see this because this shit happened in the 80s. So since the 80s, two movies have been made. I call bullshit. Hear that, Darian? I'm calling bullshit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's original. What? But the fact that he said there's two is a hot take. Yeah, that's, that was the hot take. That was hot. That was hot. I think that's it. That's all I got. Hot takes, my I searched, man. I searched Twitter, and that's all I found. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. <laughs> Top of the morning, Aline. Top of the morning. Hey, uh, we're doing hot takes today around the office. Do you have any hot takes to share with the world? <laughs> it's, it's Sorry, I just <laughs> hot seat. <laughs> I literally um, the daylight savings thing is great, you know. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one. I'm excited about that. So that means we got longer days forever yeah. now, right? Yeah. I'm Which is fire. Because LA, we, we don't really get winter. Yeah. yeah, we don't need it. I feel like that's like really good. <laughs> that's a good hot yeah, take. Good hot take. <laughs> Thank you so much for your hot takes, everyone. I think we've almost got everyone. Y'all about to see me bust my shit on this bike? Yeah? It's on my confession of the day. I feel like you should sit sideways. That'll be funny. Yeah. All right. I'm not sad, I just looked this way. My confession of the day is Rex, Rex Life Raj is amazing. His personality was explosive. I've never met anyone like him. That's my confession of the day. And I don't know why. What's her name again? Lakeia. 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 Who? Oh, Lakin. Lakin. And Lakin likes mayonnaise, which is gross. <laughs> So, that's my confession. That's on record. Got you on record. I stand on that. I stand on what I said. That's good. What's a man without his word? Nothing. Oh yeah, he needs his nuts too. His balls and his word. <laughs> Can't forget those. Computer? Not one of the stickers, not. No. But they have someone Don't talk about my mom like that. Word to your mother. He also makes mayonnaise is gross. I like a good like deli mayonnaise. Just like it on a sandwich. Like I don't like it with a spoon. I, <laughs> I just like it on a fun, on a, on a turkey sandwich. <laughs> I just, if I have mayonnaise at home, it's whack. Mayonnaise over mustard? Yes. Oh. Maybe mayonnaise with like a little a mustard. Anthony, you're the only one without a hot take. How do you feel about mayonnaise? It's good. Yeah. Ketchup. <gasps> okay. You like ketchup? And mayonnaise. Yeah. There we go. In, Step, <laughs> in the movie <laughs> Step Brothers, that's called what fancy like? sauce. What do you eat with your fries? I eat my fries regular. <laughs> <laughs> I eat my fries regular. 
Do you don't eat nothing on them? Don't put nothing on them. And if I do decide oh, to, I, did I might fries. do a little ranch. I did like, my fries in ranch. I did everything in ranch. ranch. I put ranch on everything <laughs> except <laughs> for salads. Yeah. <laughs> so what you used to eat? Ranch and fries? Well, I eat my fries plain to start. But if I had to choose the sauce, no, I'm not dipping it. No, plain. Ketchup is, I don't eat any ketchup. Ketchup is gross. I just got turned on to ketchup in 22 years. I, like I just started that's liking bread it. and sweet and sour. Just literally like a week ago. <laughs> like literally, I'm talking like two weeks ago. My buddy's like, "Why are you eating your fries plain?" And I was like, "Well, they didn't have ranch." And he's like, "Well, they get they gave you ketchup," and I was like. Yeah, I know that. I don't like ketchup. He's like, bro, try it out. I don't know, man. It was kind of tangy. I, I have obviously had ketchup, but like, I'm not a big ketchup dude. So ketchup. But uh, I kind of started liking that shit. I use it on fries now. They gotta turn like both locks. They stuck in the back. Mm -hmm. Classic day at Preen. People stuck in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, he's stuck. Mm -hmm. Both knobs. Both knobs. You gotta do it. Well, not sorry, not like no, 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 no. <laughs> well, we caught you in 4K. <laughs> like this, I mean, I'm gonna make that a gift now. <laughs> not like that. I didn't mean to do that. But hey, it happened. Oh shit, that was hilarious, bro. I was just giving a little inside of my preference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We watched it like 50 times that no, day that in the office. That shit was fantastic. That was quality. Oh, good? Yes. Are you a mingler sex dude or are you a conservative? I used to be quite a lot, but I'm. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? <laughs> I have hung my jersey up. Not on paper, but I have hung it up. Mentally? Yes. Oh. I'm, I'm a one man kind of woman these days. Yeah. But I do like a woman on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm just gonna love this content. This is pre-X-rated. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to listen to this. Welcome to the X-Preem podcast. Extreme Preem. <laughs> and Dallas always gets me when I woke up and decided that I was gonna dress myself with my eyes closed and I don't even have my makeup, so. I like that, that natural look, you know what I mean? I'm just really going for something real here. So much fake in this world. <laughs> it stops working. There you go. What is this? Not a battery. It's about to die. Oh. 